Hello students, welcome to the kernel series. Today let us talk about full term normal delivery versus full term vaginal delivery. So you might have noticed in your case sheets in your clinical postings after a delivery, they would have written FTND or sometimes FTVD. So what is the difference between these two full term normal delivery and vaginal delivery? So first let us see when we will say it as full term normal delivery to say so Firstly, it should be a term pregnancy, spontaneous onset of labor and a singleton pregnancy with vertex presentation and she should pro progress in labor normally. There should not be undue prolongation of labor and she should deliver via natural method with minimal aids. And at the end of the delivery, there should be a healthy mother and the fetus. So if these all criteria are met, then it is a full term normal delivery. If there is any deviation from this, be it induction of labor, be it multiple pregnancy, be it any other presentation other than vertex, be it breach, oxytoposterior phase, whatever is the presentation. And if you apply any instrument, vacuum, all these things come for instrumentation. So any of these are there or there is a prolongation of labor, any of these things are there, then it becomes full term vaginal delivery. Remember RMLE that is right mediolateral episiotomy or uh, any episiotomy that you give is minimal aid only. If there is an episiotomy that doesn't make it a vaginal delivery. But if you put an instrument then it becomes a vaginal delivery. Thank you.